Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zlot, uh, and I am going to start a new season, uh, or a new, let's call it a new playlist for YouTube. Uh, it's going to be the, the Experimental 7 series. Um, so Experimental 7 dropped about a week ago or so. And I have played around with it a little bit. I actually tried it on our, uh, I, I ported over my, the save file from our GTI server and popped that into single player mode and uh, upgraded my game to seven and it loaded okay. Yeah, there was just a couple of minor little tweaks. But today we're gonna do something complete fresh start. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a new game. We're gonna call this, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's call it Alpha Seven. Mental. Experimental. Okay. Uh, we're gonna set the game mode to survival. We want the default scenario. Uh, who cares about seed anyway? It's set at five two nine eight nine four. Difficulty settings: We're gonna set this to starting equipment easy, player regression fast, degradation slow, temperature radiation low, amount of ore rich, number of deposit plenty, overall drone presence high, drone base attack hard, rate of NPC spawn high, enemy difficulty hard, constructor speed fast, production speed of the blueprint fast. So it's it's going to be hard critters. So combat's going to be difficult, but the progression through the game should be fairly fast. So let's go with that. Um, I don't want to do Akua. I actually want to try Omicron. Uh, apparently Akua and Omicron have had a major facelift, so I want to give that a try. Um, this is going to be way more difficult than normal. If you notice, the resources now are copper, iron, silicone, and promethium. There are no cobalt on the starting planets. You have to go out into space to get the cobalt. Cobalt is like a tier 1.5 um, ore now. So you don't need it to make some very, very basic stuff, like a very basic HV you don't need cobalt for. So our focus is when we land, we're going to try and get some promethium. We're going to try and get some... Uh, uh, silicone, copper, and iron, and then we're going to try and spawn our uh, a hover box, I call it. It's fairly cheap, and it only costs uh, very minimal resources. So let's start this. Now, I'm not going to be doing a jump in the water and pick seaweed um, and... Uh, um, pick seaweed and smash rocks this time because I don't think that's viable anymore. They see seaweed is no longer a required for biofuel. Okay, so what do we got here? What do we got? I don't see anything around. I don't even see oh there's water way over there. Um let's I guess head towards the water. Oh wait, what's that? What's that? Did I did I not see something over here? What is that? Oh, there it is. Rescue module. Okay, Havoc rescue module. Let's let's head for that. We probably got to get stuff out of it right away, or it might be a red herring. I could go there and just die. Okay, so take all your equipment with you because, okay, yeah, whatever. We're going to go with the... Well, that's it. That's all that was in the escape pod. A couple of... That's it? Okay. So it starts you with 10 biofuel now. O2. Emergency O2. Survival constructor. Some some meds. Some food. Some bullets. A gun. And an ore scanner, which is the new way of detecting... Of seeing the ore. You can still detect deposits normally. Okay, I'm going to equip the drill. I'm going to equip my gun. Um, should we start the... Uh, not afraid of custom tours. I, 
I'm not sure if I can actually do anything. We can try the dinner for two. Oh, it doesn't even show. Huh. Okay, let's try elemental enemy. I don't know. Because I know that there are golems on the planet. So I should have a, li a tiny little bit of a reprieve before all the critters come out. So let's just... Oops. Can I not tell? Yeah, there we go. Get my weapon loaded. Oh, I discovered copper. Good. Really? Are these hitboxes changed now on these to pick them up? Okay. So, if this is like previous scenarios where basically on Omicron, this freaking survival base is, is just a red herring. So you basically had to like grab your stuff and run away before the CV came and blew it up. Um, the, the patrol vessel. And I'm kind of worried about that. There's copper over there. So I've only discovered one deposit, really? Okay, let's check out what's in here. I'm not gonna power, the, power this up. I'm just gonna rob it. Because I'm not gonna be using this as my base. Um, I'm just gonna take all the goodies. I've never seen this base. I've never been in this one yet. Huh. Oh, look at that. It's got like, it's even got like a computer and a whole bunch of deco and wow. Wow, it's even got like a shower. Toilet, shower, wow. Okay. Doesn't need to be powered up to use those decos. So that's good. Let's grab this stuff. I don't see a personal cargo container. Now, I'm not sure if it's supposed to have one or not. Let's just grab what it has in the cargo boxes. Uh, it has no fuel, has no uh, oxygen. We'll grab the ammo. Um, okay, so that's probably it for here. I don't see anything else. Uh, oh, wait, there's the personal cargo box. Uh, oh, good. It, it gives us a core, some some water, which we're going to need, and a durian sprout. One durian sprout? Okay, well, whatever. I can, I can try and create more sprouts. Okay, so that is about all. I was hoping to actually loot a multi-tool with, with a multi-tool charge. I, I fluked out and got that before from one of these, and I was able to actually dismantle it and run away. Um, okay, well, we do have a couple of grow plots, which is good. Uh, we'll come back for this later. So, I don't even have a motorcycle kit, you notice. I don't have anything to make anything with at this point. So I gotta run. One copper, one copper thing, and that's it. Notice how the map is completely different now. Um, and the terrain is really drastically changed. That's a massive lake over there. And there's TS Omicron. Okay. So let's head towards the copper. We got to hoof it by foot because we can't actually make anything. I don't have any resources. Which is kind of sad because um, that also means I'm going to run out of oxygen pretty quick. Pick some of the stuff along the way here. Try and get some XP, get some get some shrubbery. Oh my god, it's like way out there. Let's see, do I have anything to get rid of to increase my stamina? I got water. I don't want to use that. I want to use that to reduce my body temperature when I start overheating. Uh, I don't have anything else that's going to... Well, it came, came with 1302 bottles. Okay, good. I'll use one now. Uh, nothing besides the water? Okay, well... We'll just keep going. Run, run, run! Oh, silicone over there. Okay. Good. And Prometheum. Excellent. 
Excellent. So now I'm just going to need iron. Also, I believe, let me try this, reload this, and we'll set this to stone removal. And it completely ripped us off. Okay, fine. So there's the copper there. Let's just try this one more time. Maybe the stones don't give you anything anymore. Oh, I got iron off that. Oh, it automatically picked it up. Does the T -T T1 drill automatically pick up resources now? That's epic. Yeah, it must. See, there I go. I got iron from that. Okay, so there we go. There's a viable way of getting resources if you are not close enough to get resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just get some small amounts of each resource before um, before it gets too dark. So I'm gonna drone this up and I gotta be aware that there is a planetary vessel on Omicron. Oh, see that? You can see the ore because I have that, that ore scanner on me. You can see the deposits down there. So now I gotta dig down. So let's resource mine. work at these, work at this. Now supposedly the closer ones glow more. So that one looks like it's glowing more, doesn't it? It's picking up crushed stone. Well, I like that it doesn't leave the stone behind now it actually auto picks up stuff that's huge now maybe I won't get uh, corporal tunnel sy syndrome from uh, spamming my my F key so much okay well I think I'm getting closer to it right really I'm not quite sure if I like this mining now because it's. I've already spent half a biofuel and I haven't even got to a deposit yet? Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. So. Oh, there we go. Okay, I've revealed a nugget. See that? I, re I revealed a nugget, so now I should be able. Oh, it just. Okay, 10 copper. Really? Okay, so now these should come a little quicker now that I'm down here. There we go. Trying to get the ones that are closest. Really? 12 copper? This is going slow. I'm not quite sure I like this. I've already three quarters of a biofuel almost, and I've only got 22, 32 copper. Mm, I don't know, guys. Oh. Stuck going up on me. Ugh. These are tiny little chunks. I'm not getting very good return off my uh, biofuel investment. Here. Really? All we've got is 78 so far. That's, I don't know, that does not seem, that seems a, like a lot slower. almost used up an entire biofuel. Usually I can get like 200 ore per biofuel. So this ain't easier. This is a pain in the ass. Okay, not really liking it. Tiny little smidgens, really? 
And I'm getting way too much stone now because of this too. 95 stone. I've got more stone than copper out of this freaking node so far. Okay. Well. Okay, I'm not liking this change so far. I'm not liking this, guys. This is uncool. This is taking longer and getting shittier returns. Ten co like, come on! What a joke. They're making this a little too hard. I think. Okay, so I'm, I'm already digging into my second biofuel. And it's a complete waste of my time if I don't walk out of here with at least a hundred ore. Because that'll give me 200 ingots. So what am I at right now? Okay, 109. Let's quit there. Let's carry on. We're running out of time. And I don't know, understand what it says. There's 100% ores left. No, there isn't. I just took a bunch. So, okay. So, bugginess. But that's to be expected with an alpha. Um... I need to run over to this Prometheum. I need to get Prometheum bad. I might have to actually smash, smash rocks for for my uh, materials because, because the return right now, digging up these deposits does not seem that good. Well, at least there is no drones protecting these these deposits uh, within sprinting range of the uh, of the survival base. That would have definitely made it super duper hard. Oops. Come on. Oh, POI settlement. Hmm, that might be a good place to go. Oh, and there are drones over there, so maybe it's not a good place. So there we go. I can see the silicone down there. Let's just back off a bit. Oh, we're running out of daylight, and I haven't even... This could be bad. This could be really bad. Um, I don't want to die with all this stuff on me, too. Okay, well, let's stop gabbing. Let's get as much as we can of this. I don't know guys, I'm not really, I'm not digging the mining so far of deposits, it's... Let me just tab in, tab out to get my radar back. seeing red arrows on my screen. Oh, 55 Prometheum off that one. Okay, so a little better. A little better. Maybe it was just that copper node that wasn't... Maybe it was just a real crappy copper node. And unfortunately, I can't tell because it doesn't say how much there is. Promethium off that one. Uh, 18 Promethium off that one. Like I say, if I can get 100, uh, that'll give me enough energy to actually um, get me through the, the first phase of survival. But these first couple minutes are so critical. Another 30? What are we at? What are we at? 132. Okay, let's let's 
run away. And where was the silicone? Over there. I need iron though. I am desperate for iron now. I am going to have to smash rocks, I think. And then maybe run back to the survival base and get the ore smelting in the survival constructor, I'm guessing. Level three, I'm Uber. Okay. I just want to pick everything that I can because spoiled food now gives you biofuel. So that's how I'm going to power my drill is by, that looks really deep down there. So there's a chunk there. Which one is the brightest? This one looks the brightest. Oh, what am I doing? Drone it up. Always drone it up whenever you can. It uses less food and oxygen. And especially right now, I mean, food and oxygen are just critical. want silicone off that that's not bad so silicone has kind of replaced copper with a bunch of the stuff that copper used to make like copper used to make cables now they're called like optical fibers or something like that and silicone makes them uh, cobalt's been removed from the material requirements for a bunch of the real low-end stuff Six silicone. Okay, so when it actually finds a big chunk, it actually, it's not that bad. It actually gets the ore pretty quick. Okay, maybe it was just that copper deposit was really sucky. 40? Oh yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm already at 100, don't I? Oh yeah, 208. Wow, see, big difference there. Okay, so the good enough, good enough. Um, whoa, don't fall in that hole. Okay, so now... Did we run back? I think we have to, right? So there's the settlement. Let's waypoint that. Okay. Oh. Did you, did you notice the coordinates on that? Zero, zero. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so now it's getting dark. Evil things are going to start coming out and killing me. Which I don't want. I don't want to die. I need to smash rocks, though. i got to go into here. I need iron. The only way I'm going to get enough iron right now is by smashing some of these rocks, I think. Okay, so let's go stone removal. Suck. Okay, iron, good. Iron and copper. Okay, okay. I'm gonna need a bunch of iron. I'm gonna have to smash, smash a whole bunch of rocks, I guess. Ah, they're not giving me anything now. Great. Oh, and we're in a night. Iron and copper. Okay, okay. Well, we are getting iron. Co we got cobalt. Oh, hey, we got cobalt off that stone. Ah, that oh, cobalt.
Cobalt again. That might be the way to get Cobalt. It's by smashing rocks. Okay, look at all those rocks over there. Lots of rocks over there. We're getting further away from the Havoc, though. <sighs> okay, there's rocks over here. Let's run over here. I don't want to get too far away. Now I seem to remember I had a full day whenever I started a game before, before critters started spawning. So I'm thinking I got this whole night to smash as many rocks as I can. So we're going to try. Iron, iron and silicone. Those little rocks don't seem to have anything. I'm hoping I'll get enough iron to be able to even make a motorbike. I mean, I need to get around a lot faster than by foot. I can't believe I want to make a motorbike because that's they're like horrible <laughs> but at this point at this point it's going to help me oh that was a good one silicone copper and oh you got crushed stone from rocks now okay well that makes sense right getting good iron good iron would have been nice to actually find iron but you know such is the luck of the seed i am getting a decent amount of iron from i've already got 63 Woo. If i can get a couple hundred iron ore from smashing rocks i'm gonna be well on the way to having enough to, to spawn my hv right away And I gotta get that oxygen going quick here. I'm gonna run out pretty soon. Okay. Smashing rocks. Iron, iron, getting iron. Good, 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 good. Give me the iron. There's a meteor shower. Apparently, if you get hit by one, they, they actually do damage. I've never been unlucky enough to get hit by a meteor shower, so... I'll be able to make the night last a little bit longer by running in the direction of the sun. Or the direction that the sun is moving anyway. Yeah, that sucked. Iron, give me iron. Cobalt, copper, iron, iron, iron. Just give me lots of iron, cobalt. Come on, g g okay. Level four, I'll take it. Come on, iron. Come on. Really? Okay, the elusive iron. I didn't think iron was going to be an issue. We look at the map. How many iron deposits are there? There's seven, and we haven't found any. There's. Huh. That's it. Iron, copper, silicone, promethium. Okay. So, I don't know. Doesn't seem like a lot of resources for, for rich and plenty. I'd hate to see, I'd hate to see poor and crappy. Come on. Ah, bugged.
can I see? I just can't see squat. Need rocks. Did I already smash all the rocks in this area? I can't remember if I smashed all the rocks. It looks like I did. Damn it! Oh, it's, what the? What's going on there? It's got some funky glow. I never turned that on. Crushed stone. Really? Screw you. It's really weird. Why does it have a light on it? Oh no, it's just glare off the moon? I don't know. <sighs> okay, I don't want to put this too close in case I get shot up, but I will put my survival constructor down and get all the shit in it. That way, at least if I die, I'm not going to lose everything. So we'll put that there, and we'll dump everything into it. Come on. Since I can't really use any of this stuff anyway. Uh, I probably won't need those yet. I'll keep the food on me. Over leaves, don't need those. We'll just let them perish. Aloe, I need. I'll have to let them perish. We'll eat that. We'll eat that. Um... Oh, I, I might be able to actually make popcorn. Can I make popcorn? No, spoiled food. Spoiled food. Oh, I can make spoiled food from seaweed. Oh, huh, well, okay. Okay, so you can still make biofuel from seaweed. You just create spoiled food out of it. Okay. Okay, in the meantime, let's get these going. And I also got to put down my O2 and get that going. Or else I will suffocate. So we're just going to put all that in there for now. Okay, so I've got that set up now. I think what I need to do is just, is just run and smash some more rocks, right? Can I see rocks over there? I mean, at least I got enough ore in the survival constructor now to spin up a, um, a drill if I need to. So... Smashed. Some iron. Nice, 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 nice. Give me more iron. And so, oh, oh, nice big blob of iron there. Okay. Our stone. Who cares? Iron. Oh, now we're getting. We're we're, we're actually getting some iron here. Twenty-eight. Oh, some cobalt in there too. Huh. Oh. Huh. The survival constructor can't actually smelt cobalt by the look of it. I'd have to go back and look, but I don't. I didn't see it. Maybe it can. Iron. Iron. Wow. Okay. Um, so 
So there you have it, folks. Rocks again. Awesome return on your investment for biofuel expenditure. It seems like rocks are better than deposits. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. Come on, rocks. Give me more rocks. I need I need to be a rock star. Come on. I don't see any more rocks. Where did I land? I can't remember. Okay, let's try. What 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 am I wearing, by the way? Medium armor, minus twenty-five to sixty. Okay. All right. I need more iron. I need to find iron. Looks like some orange trees. Might be a good opportunity to uh, to pick some more food. Let's do that. I always get really unlucky with oranges eating them, though. I end up getting food poisoning, so I'm a little leery about eating them right now. I'll do. I'll eat them as a re last resort, but. Um, but you get decent XP for picking them. And they'll turn into spoiled food, so it's 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 always worth picking everything. Whenever you see something, you can pick it, especially if you're not level 25. Pick it. And I, I really want rocks, so here we go. What what does it say? Copper. I don't want more copper. <sighs> Give me frickin' iron. Cactus looks cool. Oh, very, very important. T6 plasma. Whenever you see that, pick it up. That's what you use to make large med packs with. Or at least that's what it used to be. I haven't actually, I don't know about in Alpha 7. Maybe not. Hopefully we'll get to find out. Okay, so what are we at on? So 53. It's going to give us a couple of hundred ingots in total. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let's look at my blueprints. My, I have a hover box. Here we go. 176 iron, 140 copper, and 102 silicone. It's basically an unsealed box that I can hide in and <laughs> move around in. It allows me to spawn my, my drone and, and mine in relatively... Uh, safety obviously the the planetary vessel and drones and stuff will still pick me off but but nothing else can get line of sight on me on the ground so I really think it's a kind of a cool design okay I'm not seeing any more rocks we're just we're just getting into a barren area here And again, I don't want to stray too far from the Havoc Rescue module because at least, at least it'll protect me from critters if I run inside the module. It's not going to protect me from drones and stuff because they'll just shoot the shit out of it. But And you also notice that there was no magnesium on the planet. 
Magnesium is no longer required for basic um, ammunition, just steel plates. Steel plates are needed for pretty much freaking everything from what I was reading, so. More iron. Woo -hoo -hoo. I think we might pull this off. Ugh. More iron, more iron and cobalt. I think we're, we're going to rock and roll with all these rocks. It's the Havoc module. It is 500 meters. Most of the stuff I pick up, all the plants and stuff are all going to spoil because I won't, I won't get a fridge up and going before they spoil. Although I could turn the havoc on, but as soon as I turn the havoc on, I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that, uh, it's just going to get nuked. So if I don't actually turn it off, but I just use it for, um, to hide in. Oh, plant fibers. Nice. That's, that's, I can make, um, with the aloe, I can make, uh, bandages with plant fibers and aloe. Also plant fibers are, are necessary to construct grow plots. So plant fibers equals win. So pick them. Whenever you see a plant fiber, pick it. There's just a bearing nothingness now. So let's head back. Make sure we pick everything as we do it though. Uh, it's too bad I never discovered any iron because that's that sucks. Oh, what level was that hover? Oops, sorry. Go into here. My hover box is level three, so I can already, it's already unlocked. I just gotta spawn it. I should have enough once I get back there. I should have enough with what I just got. Should have enough iron be able to spawn it. Cause that'll be way better than a motorcycle. A motorcycle you had to, you gotta dismount from to uh um to do anything. And they also suck horribly. They're they're not very good to drive. They don't handle very well. They don't climb hills where the beans at least they didn't in six. Maybe they boosted them in seven. Are these rocks there? Is that rocks? Or is that? No, that's just dirt. Okay. There's some rocks over there, though. Might as well gather them while I can, right? little bit of time before critters start spawning. I, it, it appears that they don't spawn on the first day. So the first 24 hours of game time, which is about, I think it's about 45 minutes. Okay, well, one more rock here and we'll throw all this back in the survival constructor.
And then there should be some oxygen generated now by my uh, my my emergency O2 generator. Let's get this stuff in there. Yeah, I can't make cobalt. Wow. I wonder if a mobile constructor can make cobalt. Let's put everything in there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have plenty. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get that going, get that going, and that going. Yeah, I'm not, I can't make the cobalt. I cannot smelt my cobalt. Which is a decent amount from the rocks. Look at that, I got 83 ore from smashing rocks. Okay, so... Let's breathe. I'll just take those and breathe. Oh, hey, I noticed that it's stacked. Oh, right, it had 13. So, so, so stuff is stacking in bigger stacks now by the look of it, which is great. Thank you. Need some corn. Can I make, can I make, uh, no, I can't make popcorn, huh, you would think a, uh, you know, I can make, I can make steak and salami, but I can't make popcorn? Oh, I can make a base starter, concrete blocks, concrete blocks, so I, okay, so let's, let's get some, what else should we smash? Let's get some rock dust going. Some rocks. Okay, they're called rocks now, not just rock dust. Okay, so we'll get a bunch of the rocks going. And, oh, now that we've got Promethean pellets, we can get a bunch of these made. We'll make like, I don't know, 40. And then that'll give us, let's do 50, and that'll give us 100. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to take a while to spin up. So we didn't die. We It looks like we're going to have plenty to spawn our HV. So I think off camera what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this spin up. Uh, and then I'll, I'll put what I need to in the... Um, in my factory and start that constructing because I think it takes a while to actually brew. Let's take a look here. It will take 11 minutes. Not that bad, okay. Well guys, uh, this is Omicron so far. We'll get a little bit more into depth next episode. Um, and maybe we'll get the HV out. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to like go around and actually kind of explore a little bit, try and discover some iron, try and get some, uh, uh, maybe go check out that settlement and loot it. So I think we'll leave that for next episode. Right now I'm just going to go crash in the um, unpowered base <laughs> because I'm a wussy and I don't trust it if I power it up. And then, uh, oh, I wonder if I can. Okay, let me out. I wonder if it'll actually make. Make some motor bike construction kit, so that's good. And can it do multi tool? Oh, I gotta, I gotta select it as a. Right. Okay, so we'll we'll do that later. We'll do that next episode. I'll 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 select my skills that I've. I've earned some some action points or whatever they call them, and I'll select some some stuff, and we'll make some stuff, and we'll fly around on a in a box, <laughs> or have around in a box, and we'll we'll check out Omicron. Okay, guys, this was good. I didn't die. I am currently level five. No kills, no deaths, and it's awesome.
If you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, next episode, I, like I say, we'll have the hopefully have a hover vehicle out and about and um, and check out the planet. Okay, guys, have yourselves a good one.